Hey church family, I wanted to take this opportunity to present you with another word of encouragement as we continue to weather the storm that we find ourselves in the middle of. Now, as we look back over the last five months, there's no doubt that we've all been through many trials and many tribulations here in 2020. And while I'm sure that we're all looking forward to the day when these storms will finally pass us by, uh, the real question that we ought to be asking ourselves today is this. We ought to be asking, what is the Lord trying to teach me here in the middle of this storm? You might not know this, but the Lord is actually the one who oftentimes leads us into the center of the storms that we find ourselves in the middle of. And, and the reason why? Well, it's because there are times when we're you know, stretched by a storm and sanctified by a storm. And so therefore, storms are very important for us. That's right. Spiritual maturity is oftentimes experienced as we learn how to rely on the Lord in the middle of a storm. Therefore, rather than looking past the storm, rather than looking to the horizon, hoping for the storm to pass, I encourage you, uh, allow the storm to focus your faith. Set your sights on Jesus Christ so that we can grow in our faith all for the glory of God. I like the way that James describes this in the first chapter of his epistle. It's there where James declares, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Christian, listen, the Lord leads us into the storms of life, and he allows us to suffer the storms that we find ourselves in the middle of so that we might be perfected, so that we might be purified, all according to his perfect purposes. With that being the case, I think that we can count it all joy when we find ourselves in the center of the storm. And the reason why is because if God has us there, then he has a perfect purpose for placing us there. Now, in order to further understand how the Lord uses the storms of life to perfect those who trust in him, I encourage you, join us tomorrow, June the 7th, right here at Calvary South Austin. We're going to consider the way that the Lord Jesus leads us into the storm and, and the way that he guides us through the storm and then eventually saves us from the storm. Uh, you can meet us in person during one of our two services, which begin at 9.15 and 11.15 a.m. For those who belong to a high-risk category and you're continuing to shelter in place, well, you can join us online for our second service, which will be streaming live at 11.15 a.m. Hope to see you tomorrow, and until then, let's continue to fight the good fight of faith, all for the glory of God.